Oh, what the... Oh, again. Get 10 and 0. Let's push through the center. Let's grab the pawn. Shall we do something different today? Let's not do the mantra. Let's do the mantra in reverse or no. Let's just totally ignore the mantra altogether and just see how we get on. So we have got to do everything against what the mantra says. Yeah. All right, so we're going to keep the tension. Yeah, we do keep it sometimes, but in the first things, you know, we just take this off the board. So I'm going to keep tension. Ugh. Because they're coming with the Fianchetto. So he's going to have, it's got a two on one. Just keep the tension. Bring the bishop here. Only take when it's a feasible take whereby the opponent's actually done a capture and they've misplaced themselves in a sense. Or they've just gone for the capture. Attacking the pawn, let's support the pawn, keeping the tension. This looks real bad. Let's castle, king safety. Captures? Uh, that. Okay, there might be a technique here. So we waited for them to capture because we just wanted to keep the tension. So now they're moving fast like they've made maybe a mistake. If we bring the bishop here so that the queen is still protecting because the knight looks like it's going to be jumping somewhere to try and get the bishop. But there's no major advantage. I can't see it. There's no changes in the scores. It's even Steven still. So it did feel like we had a benefit then, but it it's even. So let's keep the tension. Don't take anything. Let's just push on to the knight maybe. What does he want to do? Then he's going to cut. Well, he's not going to go there because he'll get taken. So he'll have to come in the corner or go back. So I'm going to hit the knight with the pawn. He's probably going here, blocking his rook. I don't think they'll go there because we'll just open up space in front of the king. Yeah. All right. So the bishop is on the pawn at the moment. Knight can move can move this one's a bit centralized this one's more targeting here but the queen is covering this one can go one then round again bishop this put the pawn's going to be hitting the knight anyway isn't it so we might as well move the knight but it's where we move it to in the center, then this pawn hits it. And then we go up here, attacking these two. Let's just bring it in the center here. Baiting the pawn. Bishop's covering this diagonal, so if the knight did go here, obviously the rook moves down. Oh, baited the wrong pawn. Don't want you. So we can take because the queen is protecting the bishop. Said we were wanting to keep tension, but only, you know, only so far. I don't want to take it too far because we could push this pawn, keeping the tension. Queen's not coming around attacking the king. Shall we continue keeping the tension? Yes, let's reverse. Let's see if we can do it. Opposite of the mantra. Ooh, I hope I don't fall foul. He's now attacking the knight because the knight doesn't have any protection. But keeping the tension, the bishop could come here. And it's got support from the rook as well. So I'm going to bring the bishop here, keeping the tension. So now they're supporting. Uh, it's almost like they've got wind of what's actually going on. Bishop can go here. They'll have to attack their rook. They do have take, take, so that we lose a pawn. But we're attacking a higher piece. He moves back and then we can move back again. Let's attack the higher piece.
could the queen go there, keeping the tension up in that corner? <laughs> Getting carried away with this tension. I think that might be too much. Because he's going to be doing this sort of stuff. So I think we need the bishop. Or have we lost tempo anyway? If they did decide to come across and then come down here, then they take... No, because the bishop's still supporting. That's okay. If the queen was there... What's... Hey. So he's going for two pieces for the rook. Looks like. Going to take the rook. Yeah, he has gone for two pieces for the rook. Right. So, let's take with the queen. Yeah, let's take with the queen. We could take this, but then he improves his knight. Could bring the queen here. And then he takes, takes. I'm going to bring the queen here. If he doesn't take, we can push on to the pawn. Bit of a check on the king type situation. Need to get the rooks in the... Ah, oh, he does take. That's a bit disappointing, isn't it? Let's take. Do we get the chance to do it or not? Not that it's anything major, but it's it gives them something to think about. I think the knight's looking to move, but it's bit jammed in at the moment so I think the pawn is either going to no I don't know what it's doing maybe this is chat we can't move that because the queen's got the x-ray through at the moment rook's on here but he's got a rook defending and the king defending so keeping the tension's got us to here it's moved it's oh he's given us a two on one so the rook can take the pawn we can take here. Doesn't mean we're winning because, you know, Bishop's going to be taking the pawn. The Queen is on the other side of the board. Um, if the Bishop does take, then we can put a check type mate thing on here. But they're taking so long that they're putting a check on us. And have they won something? Let's put the King out of the way. I think he's trying to... Ooh, I don't know. Maybe they're coming peeling pawns. Obviously, they know then that taking there, we're just going to get a checkmate. So that's not going to work for us. And that's not going to work either because it's a bishop. Then the rook then comes here. We'll just get the rook off the board. He's still going to have a queen on the board. Yeah, so it's not going to work. He's def defending the knight as well. Maybe we could have taken the knight. Could we have taken that knight before? No, we couldn't, could we? No, we couldn't. It's a timing. He came down and put a check on. So he's defended the rook. Could look to come here. To come here. But the knight is defending. So the queen is coming down for a back ranker on us. What is the best maneuver? Maybe just pushing this pawn, defending. Oh, I'm... I suppose if the pawn does take, we can bring the rook in. What are you doing? I could have just got my checkmate there. Stupid. Oh. Instead, I've done this preemptive thing here, messing about with the damn mouse. Oh. Oh, I feel sick. Ah, oh, look, now he's just going for a trade. It's not right, but we can take... <laughs> we can take... We can have a check on the king. Oh, why did they resign? They didn't need to resign. I was fluffing it up. Oh, 10 and 0. Again, let's look at just keeping the tension... I am going to hit the centre, but, you know, if they don't keep the tension, then we can push, but they're taking, so we'll grab with the knight. And let's develop the bishop. 
Let's develop the night. Maybe they're looking for something like this. And shall we just castle? They're not looking for much really. And I think when you've got them all in a line, sometimes it's a bit of a problem. It starts pushing down. Hmm. Let's get the bishop out. That's not got any protection on the bishop. So you have to think it's going to get targeted. But I think they'll be going castling first. So they have done, which gives us the opportunity to attack their knight. Problem with that is they can come here, but we can take. So I think it's not a problem so much. Let's attack the knight with the pawn. take back swing into attack oh he can still come and attack here because the bishop was supporting so now he's if we take bishops on the knight then it's on the other knight not really a fan of the bishop having that power base on that diagonal like that so I don't think I'm going to want to do that I'm just bringing the bishop back if the knight stays there then we can attack their bishop doesn't have to stay there, it can go here and it can go here. Rook's getting involved, we could keep the tension and bring the Rook across ourselves. So I'm going to bring the Rook across. We're trying to do the opposite of the mantra, which is really keeping the tension. Because we do like to just whip stuff off the board, just take stuff, you know, capturing, attacking. But we're trying to practice this keeping the tension thing. It does get a bit icky, um, but got to try it. And so the bishop, like we said, it's got no protection on it. was always going to be attacked. If we did bring it here, then this pawn's just going to drop onto it. So there's no point bringing it there. We have a safe haven. We can bring it all the way back. We could just take this bishop because it's got a check on the king. Rook takes, rook takes, queen takes. Queen attacks the queen. Queen takes, bishop takes, or is there a sort of move order thing? Let's just have a look at this situation. So it could, could go with the rook, or we could just go with the knight. Knight, either way, his rook's just going to take anyway, isn't it? So, knight takes with a check on the king, rook takes, rook takes, queen takes, queen attacks the queen. Now it's at this point here, if he goes, well, I'm taking your bishop, then I can say, well, I'm taking your knight. Yep, okay, let's do that. Oh, and the queen's taken. Oh, they've done a preemptive thing. Oh, no, they've done what I've been doing for the whole of today. Oh, that's disappointing. So the bishop still doesn't have any protection on, so this is probably why they're moving fast. So we could bring the bishop here, or we could just bring it like we said here. I don't really like blocking my queen, but I think in this situation, maybe we just do that. And then maybe try and elevate and just go for simplify. simplification of trying to attack the rook, exchanging the rooks off. Smaller piece attacking a higher piece, let's just block that bishop. And yes, they're moving real quick, like they've got it done. Let's... Do what we said we were planning to do and get the rook across so it looks like this bishop's looking to cause some sort of trouble let's bring the rook continue as it is because the rook doesn't have any protection and if we can fashion some sort of attack on the bishop then we get a higher piece it's coming for the queen x-raying through so we can't do that at the moment so we can attack their knight because it's got no protection on and we can still follow through with this because the knight doesn't have any, rook doesn't have any protection. Although it does have a pawn there, so it's so only if they forgot themselves and they went, "Oh, I've got a free bishop," we'd be able to take the rook. So that's the idea behind that. So there's a few things happening. 
and he's moved it out of the way now so we're not going to get away with that but can we get away with something else yes a free knight and it looks like they've left the game okay so mixing up well not mixing up the keeping the tension thing it does feel different you know uh, i'm not saying it's better it gets a bit clunky for me and it gets really complicated and you're then looking at all these tactical things when that tension's in there and whereas where i'm my normal gameplay is just attacking attacking removing the pieces from the board strategically obviously um but i'd rather have a clear board than have all these pieces jammed in and all it's going to fall down to is a tactical type of maneuver that ain't chess to me excellent nice game okay practice keeping the tension doing the total opposite obviously not straight away you know it's it's during the game i'm taking this because obviously that is our style i don't want to do the keep the tension right at the very beginning where it's stonewall and um, that's a bit too extreme that's my old school old school when wanting to sort of look at keeping the tension from this point onwards you know i mean at least there's a bit of open space to maneuver so let's just bring the bishop back here so it's almost waiting for the opponent to take almost basically saying it's a mistake to take in the right circumstances you know it's, you've got to choose it right so we're trying to ignore the mantra flip it on its head and do everything opposite to what we've been um, training to do. Obviously not in a major way, you know, it's not like going that the answer process isn't working, it is working, but we're just trying to practice something new, something a little bit fresh. It's just an element of the mantra anyway, which is keeping the tension because you keep the tension at certain points throughout the mantra. All we're saying is we don't like keeping the tension, we really like taking pieces off the board, and this is why it's the total opposite to our our playing style. Shall we just castle? Looks like we're going to be slow potato in this game. Just keep the tension, x-raying through. I'm actually going... Oh, <laughs> oh I'm going to attack if you take pawns on the knight. Practice the tension, do practice the tension. Let's just develop the piece. Let's bring the bishop back. Or oh, we could bring it here, but his knight can jump here. Let's go here. See if they're going to give us anything. I mean, that's not keeping the tension, I know. So <laughs> have to do a slow but i don't want to do stonewall you know so there has to be opportunities where you have to say to yourself well okay i don't want to go extreme extreme let's take this bishop off the board it's on the king on the queen let's go for this knight with our queen He does have time to, because if he takes, then we take, then he can support or something or the other. Because we're targeting. He's got no support on. Oh, he's brought it into the game. Let's just take this for a moment. And let's just bring the knight across here. Bit of an attack on the queen after they've taken the bishop. So we've just responded, ooh, he's not going for that. Let's go for the queen. Bishop can't really go anywhere to save itself anyway. So it's, um, if we go here, he's going to be jumping in here. That's really what he wants us to do. Our queen can move here. He's got a two on one, but he's got two on one protection with his own bishop. There's no way of getting the bishop in here. Interesting times. 
not really sure we're doing that because the pawn is coming here. Where does the knight go then? It has to come here. So we could bring the bishop here. If the knight doesn't take, then we attack the bishop. Let's do that. Let's do that. Keep it simple. As you can tell, they're wanting to bait us here to open up space around. Oh, the queen's there. Queen's already coming in. So it's um, stopping this up to a point, but the knight is defending this area as well. And also, if you take a look at the tail of the tape, he does have a checkmate here. So if we go here to attack the bishop, he could just push the pawn down. And if we did take, we've got a check on his king. So he's going to have to do something about that. Move the king out of the way. Then we can push up onto the knight. And if the knight jumped here, the bishop will be able to take. So I think it works out, doesn't it? Was that the move order <laughs> before I jump in there? Bishop, pawn pushes, bishop take. Yeah, okay, let's do that. Should be a nice bit of calculation, that. But they may not do anything that I've just said. Oh, they have done as well. So we take with the check. Oh, no. <laughs> I didn't see it that way, did I? Oh, no. Shame I didn't see that he could get taken off. Oh, no. So now he's got the mate thing. Well, goes here. Knight puts the check on, king comes up here. I don't think it's mate, is it though? I might be, I, might, I don't think I need to lose any sleep over that. Let's put the check, um, attack on the knight. Shame, God, I was so focused. That's how tunnel visioned I was. I thought, yeah, okay, the bishop's going to be there. He's got a check on, so he has to move his king. I didn't really... <laughs> I'm <taking> <laughs> oh my gosh, tunnel vision is such an evil beast. Uh, oh, what's this? Knight's got nothing. Knight's got nothing. Pawn can't take at the minute. Let's move this. Because the queen had the x-ray through. Knight's got a bit of protection, but we need to be giving our king some company, but I don't think we'll get there because obviously the knight is moving. He's probably going to take the knight off the board. Although I think he may be feeling, oh, oh, he's not actually. So we take, queen takes. Or oh, we don't have to, there's the keep in the tension thing, but... Queen coming here. Rook gets busy. Could attack the queen anyway. Could turn and attack the queen, but then he'll just x-ray through to our queen. Then we just attack it again. And then maybe he comes here. Maybe, maybe, maybe. If we take, queen takes. Push onto the queen with the pawn. It's not going to like that. Okay, that sounds like something. Sounds like a mini plan. It's not pushing onto the queen, but it's pushing up here. So giving space maybe for the queen. Maybe here, get this rook involved. Now they're charging down, look like they know what they're doing. Isn't that disappointing? Ah, yeah, okay. There is a bit of magic there, isn't there? So I think we're going to have to push. Because this pawn's not going to be able to take back. If we'd have kept that there, come here. He's still pushing. So we can push. His pawn takes. Then he gets checkmate because his queen's going to be coming here. Very sly, this player is, aren't they? Okay, let's bring the queen over. Pawn 
probably could have pushed this rock here actually. Because that was the backstory, wasn't it? The queen getting here. If they've got a rook here, then it's not getting in. It's taken a free pawn now. That's a greedy munching queen. Which I think we may be able to take advantage of. One of the key things is the position. Yep. Yeah. It's looking for that position. So if our queen disappears from there. So all we need is the diagonal towards their king. Let's hit the queen. Slow potatoes. That might not work, but slow potatoes. Take yourself back where you came from. Get this rook here, maybe. Or even here. Time's not too bad. 4 minutes 27. I'm trying to look at all the blind spots that the opponent's putting into place. Oh, they're going for an exchange because they're plus one. Don't have to. Keep the keep the tension. Keep the tension, dude. Let's um just crack on. If he wants to take, then we can oblige. I'm gonna take the pawn here. See my tunnel vision just being on this pawn and not focusing on protecting anything else. Well, he's not into any of that. So if we did push, he takes, we take, his rook takes, queen takes. Could be a nice little battle there. Could be a nice little battle there. We're probably going to be two pawns down, but I'm hedging my bets that positionally we might be okay. Yeah, tasty, tasty, tasty. I don't think there's anything wrong with this now. He's still plus one. I think he's going to get tired of that position. Let's attack the queen. And he's just going to take now. Unless, of course, he drops here. But, I, I mean, that's defendable. Going for, he could go for a draw up and down, maybe, or something. No, he wouldn't be able to go up and down because the queen will just take. Same thing, up and down, up and down, but he's just going across. We can go here, he takes the pawn, but that's greedy munching for greedy munching's sake. We're looking to get the check on the king, so I'm not too fussed about that. Because he doesn't have any support with any of his other pieces, and the queen's gone further into the corner. Let's just push this pawn. It's totally away from all its other pieces. This is... Beautiful. Let's just attack the king. Music to my eyes, if you... Rook's got this area here, so he's going to be wanting to get rid of this rook because he's looking for the checkmate. He's not doing that just yet, so... His king's wanting to come here. If his king goes there, what's going to happen? He's going to lose his queen. So I'm going to jump here. And if he just jump in there... As I've just said, he loses the queen. So now, all we need to do is bring the rook across. It's opposite their king, and the queen has gone. All because the greedy munching queen. That played out quite nicely. And as usual, when I'm talking like this, yes, they've resigned. Excellent, good game. When I'm, when I'm talking like this... Um, it doesn't mean I've got any, everything sewn up. I'm trying to give myself confidence in doing the moves. Let's take a look. But the opponent has to see the advantage and they've got to take the advantage. So we're going to look at this evaluation. As we've mentioned before, it can be so negative against you. It could be like, minus, well, we're playing white, so it could be minus eight or minus nine. And if the opponent's not taking advantage of their advantage, then that isn't your fault. You still won the game, you know? 
So it doesn't matter if uh, the computer's going, you could have done this and you could have done that. Coulda, woulda, shoulda doesn't win the game. You have to do it in the game. So just blasting through, just looking to see where the advantage starts kicking in for them. All right, so with our little arty bishop move here, and um, that didn't like that at all. <laughs> yeah, that's where we thought we were plain sailing. We thought the king had to move, totally tunnel visioned, and obviously the pawn could just simply take. But it's not showing a major advantage to them at all. It's um, showing a plus not point something for us. So we move the king out of the way. And yeah, so now it starts getting a little bit weaker for us. Yeah, I was a little bit worried about this pawn maneuver, obviously, because it was going to be more advantageous. And we can't take the pawn if we come across here. Uh, if the pawn takes, then we can't actually take back. So we'd have to take back with, um, even if we took back with the queen, if their queen took, we wouldn't be able to take the pawn back. So that's the type of thing I was um, deliberating about. So I decided to push up. Doesn't look like it made much difference anyway, because it's now minus 1.9. But remember, we did change our total to minus 7 at least. Maximum of minus 7 or plus 7, because we found that, when it's like minus five or minus six or plus six, but it's easily regained. You can regain your advantages from those and you can regain it from worse ones, you know, like the minus eights, minus nines. Um, it's not very often that you do that when it's that high up, but it is possible because during the game, you don't see the gauge bar and it is based on what the opponent actually does. So we brought the queen up now, as you see, it's showing minus 2.6 now at the moment. So they're looking really good, although in my head, and through my I'm thinking, well, the queen is on the other side of the board and it's not got any support from any of its other pieces. So I was feeling quite comfortable with our position. We were aware of their killer position, you know, the queen looking to get the checkmate position here, and we were blocking it off. So it didn't feel like it was a minus anything really in that sense. Um, they were busy, so they were going to be capturing material, which is pawns. So in the eyes of the computer, that's winning, you know, because they've got more material, they've got more points, so they're actually winning. We had sights set on trying to get open this pawn here, tunnel visioned on it, um, to, the, to the extent that we were going to be get, losing more pawns um so the queen comes through and we're practicing keeping the tension minus four now it is that's like yeah that's that's good for them but again it, it doesn't looking at it on the board i'm looking at it i'm saying it looks covered off to me their rooks aren't linked up their queen is ready to exchange they're only plus one but that goes again to show you that the computer likes the material gain but it all depends on what the opponent does next. That's the key thing. So they push down with the pawn and we push up. We're thinking, well, we just want to get this pawn. We want this opened up somehow. Or if we can push past and push past and elevate the pawn up, so be it. And we're practicing keeping this tension type thing. So they could have taken our queen at any stage. So they did take the pawn. So it's dropped down to minus two. And they're attacking and we can take the pawn with the rook attacking the queen so it's now like a drawn position and we did say um at this point we said well it could look like it's a draw you could just go up and down but the opponent kind of went greedy munching even though it's showing draw here um i'm thinking that's kind of greedy munching because i do believe we are going to be able to get some type of squish on the king and once we start that, the ball is going to start getting a little bit bigger. The snowball is going to really roll up. But it's still showing a draw at this moment. To me, I'm thinking that's not a draw because now we've got we've got the killer manoeuvre of putting a check on the king and trying to work the pieces together to really give it some, a, a bit of a sting. So they do actually capture and we put the check on. Still showing a draw. It's still showing a draw. King B8. So it's basically saying it should be hiding in the corner over here, being safe. So at least it's, it's showing a draw. But uh, oof. 
Did we do it right? No, we didn't do it right. Well, we did it right for us. I couldn't see a problem with that. That Rook move is okay. It's got to check on him. What is it actually saying? Rook take Queen takes B1. Where the heck is B1? That's not us, is it? Oh, sorry. Yeah, rook B1. Oh, it's doing that already. No, 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 no. We're not doing that already. Scaring the queen off. We want the queen. They have options of moving back, you know. Yep, moving back here. I suppose, is that going to be a draw thing? But still, I think that's a bit strong for us. Yeah, plus three. It's something for us. But they didn't go there, so we can get the queen. Excellent. So that wasn't too bad, actually, um, throughout the game there. And there were advantages for them, it showed on the computer. But to the layman's eyes throughout the game, those advantages weren't really that clear. So it is quite difficult for me looking at that thinking, well, yeah, that you're advantageous, but how are you when your queen is on the other side of the board and your rooks aren't even working together on any of the files at all? They're just like flat on the back. You know, this is the type of advantage they're talking about here, just because the queen is able to peel off a few pawns, but it's not really improved their position on the board as far as I can see. But if they'd have done the maybe the computer moves, then we would have struggled. But they didn't do that. So yeah, nice game. Let's block the center. Let's develop the knight supporting the pawn. Support the pawn if the bishop does take the knight. Let's develop the knight, attacking the pawn. Let's develop the bishop, getting ready for castling. Let's castle. Shall we take this pawn? Let's x-ray through to their queen. Tempting to see this, then attacking the knight. Probably what they're thinking about, but now they're not going to do it. So the bishop's just going to take the knight off the board. It's not doing that just yet. Interesting. So we'll hit the bishop and then take. It's not actually doing that either. Let's hit the bishop again. Okay, right. Let's have a look at this keeping the tension thing. Let's attack the bishop. <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to mix it up ish. I don't want to lose myself just keeping attention all the time because I'll just fall foul. Space, no. Nope. So he's hidden right at the very back. Our knight's going to get jammed. If it duck goes here, then the knight can't go anywhere. So we'd have to mess about doing this. So I'm actually going to bring it back in. Oh, what is this? Let's just hit the knight. Keep a bit of tension. What? This might be a moment to keep tension, dude. Just chill a bit. It's not taking this. Might take the bishop. Might take the knight. Our knight can't get in here. So I think we can just keep the tension. Maybe push this pawn up. Or just push this like we said we were going to do. Yeah, let's do that. Whatever he decides to take, if anything at all. He takes something. Probably best not going with the queen because there's all this stuff from the rook is facing there. So I'll take with the knight. Knight can give the king some company. Yeah, let's give the king some company.
queen's taking itself off the line, but it doesn't want the pawns to get doubled, so it'll protect here. Knight could attack it, but the bishop is here. So I think we need to be seeing what the bishop wants to do. If it's flying back a bit, maybe the knight can jump in and attack the queen. But it doesn't have any protection on. And the yeah, it doesn't have any protection. The queen can just come and attack it. So it could just take the bishop off the board. Then the knight is here. Queen is on the knight. But this knight is blocking the way. Boom, 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 boom. Let's take it. Let's attack it with the queen. You never know, they might not see it. Well, they're attacking on their own, aren't they? So, in a way, where before we do that, can the bishop attack something higher? Because we're getting the knight for free anyway. Not really. If we come here, it's getting jammed in. If we come here, then the knight just moves anyway. But we get a pawn, don't we, out of that? Yeah, so if we take, then he takes our bishop, but we get a pawn, and we're in front of their king, Gary. So it's plus one. So it's a positive exchange rook's looking to come here the knight is protecting that area the knight can come across and attack the queen his rook comes and attacks our queen we take he takes and we take a pawn so we'll be a bit advantageous there won't we let's attack the queen because the last exchange, we were up a pawn just from the exchange. And this would give, be, give us another pawn if they did go this way. Although, yeah, okay. Right. Oh, I thought I had something then. I saw that, but the rook is still there. So the rook is going to be hitting the queen. So do we just move the queen out of the way? Make threat type situation. So they've done that when they didn't really need to because the rook was gonna could have blocked there, couldn't it? Queen's still gonna get hit. Rooks, rooks, rooks. Attacking the pawn. It's not really an attack, really, is it? Because he's got the bishop and he's got the rook. What am I looking for? There's no, there's no files, is there? No files. Let's go here while we're thinking. Boom. Yep. Could have done that. If, I don't understand why they didn't do that. Boom. Check. So we win the rook. If the queen takes, we get the queen. I don't need to rush this. This could be a... No, it's not a mate. Don't be silly. Let's take... Check. Right, what are my rooks doing then? Just sitting here doing nothing really. And this bishop is protecting the pawn. We're not going... Well, we could, don't we? Could, couldn't we? Rook could take. Bishop takes. Queen takes. We're owning the file with the queen. Get the rook across. Only thing is, he can come across here, but we're going to be on his king, aren't we? 
Rook Rover. Um, I'm too far down. Oh, if we could have got there. Mind you, if we hit this and then we can get the Rook Rover here. Yep, that's the idea. Right, let's just go with that. In fact, I could take the pawn first, couldn't I? Or is his queen going to get in the game? Let's take it just in case. Rook Rover, let's get this over. Yeah, poet. Oh, he's got two on one. Come on, man. All I want to do is a Rook Rover. Jeez. Just when I thought I had it sewn up. I'm going to do a Rook with this one then. But that's a lot slower. Let's get across here. Hit the Queen. Oh, my life. They're seeing all this stuff now all of a sudden. This isn't right. I can't get in. Ah, oh, sad times. Okay, forget the Rook Rover for now then. Looks like they've got a crystal ball of some sort. Oh, he's got to check on my king, dude. He's got to check on the king. Now my rook has to babysit this pawn. This is disgusting. Man. He's like to know every single move I'm trying to make. Can't even take it just yet. I have to block the bishop. Oh, it's going for an exchange. It's going for an exchange. So we have got the two rooks on the pawn and we're going to block this. So I think that's fair enough. Yeah, okay. Let's go here. Oops, excuse me. Let's take. Get a check on the king. Take the pawn off. Oh, and they've resigned. Okay, that ended pretty smoothly. I mean, the crystal ball was quite amazing. Yeah, good game.
Thank <laughs> you. 